Okay. Let's go, girl. Yep.
Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We are just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some con- Conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> Oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. Let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about, I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Those here really picked the right feller for tea of the man.
didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got ghost stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, but what if we're sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Boy. I've... Uh, I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... at the saloon. What you talking about? Well... I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. 
So, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. And already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
for here. I'm going to delve this too. those bloody fields to the ground.
Come on! Jose, you better get us paid real. Ah! Bloody right! No more joy! I want them dead! Man! Come on! Turn into a right party. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, Arlie. Right? Let's just get out of here first. <laughs> I think we lost. 
lost him. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Hey, Arthur. Everything okay? I guess. Bored. You did good with that graze business. Like I told you, I was born, born and down manor houses. Let's just hope it was all worth the trouble. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right. Hey. Hey. What do you need, Arthur? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. I'm going back to sleep. Okay, Arthur. Here, I picked up some oleander. Is this enough? Yeah, should be plenty. I'll get working on some more knives later.
<laughs> wow. You're coming with me. Hello, Arthur. Don't forget to go hunting, hey, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Arthur. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage. And without much security. This feller was telling me about it. A couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's going to be coming right through, and the bank records that cost the security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case, Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, come on. Let's mount up. Okay, follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never had. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> All right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so we do this right. Let's cut up through the creek. This was the spot we first picked out for a camp. A dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? Mike, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me.
Okay. Here we are. Hold! All right. So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? Just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. What you mean by that? Come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man? What does that even mean? Do you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. You doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me! What's the plan? There's been a change of plan! Yes! You act dumb and get them to stop! Stand back.
<sighs> we made a right mess of that. We stopped it, didn't we? Yeah, after chasing it all over New Hanover, but God knows who watching. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. to stretch the old those knives are ready for you I left them at your tent oh thanks Javier all okay Javier Charles Good to see you. Hey, hard to believe you've only been with us for less than a year. A lot's happened. Those twins who bought the horses were strange, huh? Real strange. And they don't like Cubans. Well, there better be some real money at the end of all this. 
Well, I should get back to it. Yes, see you later. Hey there. Hello, Arthur. How old are you now? 21, 22? You know, you shouldn't ask a lady such things. All right, sorry, don't mind me. All right, Arthur. Hello, Tilly. Hi there, Arthur. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. I'm glad. Yes, see you later. Don't mind me, Tilly. There she is. Hello, Arthur. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. Sure. Good, sir. How we get here, John? Same way we end up anywhere. By annoying the wrong people. No, I mean us. This situation. Look. I know I ain't acted right to you and the boy. Guess I can't make you want something you don't. It ain't like that. Life ain't that simple. Not this life. I know. Anyway, I... <clears throat> Best get back to uh, the thing I was doing. Hey, watch it, Marston. Marston. Hello, Arthur. See? We can be nice to each other. I guess. Always good to see you. Oh, hi, Arthur. You and the boy got everything you need? Yeah, we're fine. Thank you. Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, big man? <laughs> How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. Nothing a serious fellow like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'll be getting rich, not killed. Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. Hey, it's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> hey there, girl. Hardy, right, follow me. Oh, 
dirty bet. Like I said, you'll be at the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. Jesus. Can't believe you have to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can blink, believe me. First time we laid eyes on her, she was being chased by three real angry-looking fellers. And we thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. She had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? All right. Just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. We want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be in... ...conducted by the master himself. <laughs> this way. See the road down there, Mary Beth? She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay. You're the boss. Coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them, like, and then we'll move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. Hey! Hey! Stop, please! the trouble they miss. Oh, thank, thank God. I seem to have got myself all spun around out here. My horse ran off, and, well, I don't know where I am. You must think I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? This is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we can make oh, an exception. Good time. <laughs> Shut up. I thought you were just gonna threaten them. They seem threatened to me.
Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. I want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. See the road down there, Mary Dead. She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay. You're the boss. Should be coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them, like, and then we move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. spun around out here. My horse ran off, and, well, I don't know where I am. <laughs> you must think I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? <laughs> this is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> And I'm sure we can now make an exception. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna threaten. They seem threatened to me. just going to give it up. Anyway, we can talk about this later. I'm going to bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here. That's a nice take. You did good, Sean. You too, Mary Beth. Told you. We'll split it up later. We better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute and then make off with all the money. Split up and meet back at camp. Go! We don't have time. Hang around. All right. All right. I'll see you boys later!
Okay. Easy, boy. Yeah. Here. Snake bite, fella? Again? Please help me! You won't believe it. I got bitten again. It's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. You're damn lucky I have this. I can't believe I don't carry this with me. Oh, 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 you so much, mister. Can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. Gonna need a stiff one tonight. That's it. You ain't getting another out. Happy to stable that for you. No papers, huh? Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen.
up there a moment. What brings you to this fine town? Profit and pillage? Oh, d don't mind me. I'd head out full chisel to... For you. Wait, you look a lot. No, don't listen to me. What? We had some trouble here with a couple of brothers, and you just have a look of one of them. Uh, don't, don't mind me. No, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be fooling with me. Friend, I don't mean to pry, but uh, well, you look like something of rough and tumble type. What are you talking about, fella? Oh, ne never mind. Never, 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 no, no, just curious. <laughs> Someone told me about a rumor of raiders fighting. Uh, well, it ain't true anyway. You, you never mind me. What are you in the market for? Welcome back, mister. How can I help you? Can I get something to eat? I heard Geraldine got stiff to get... <laughs> you sure wolfed that down. Just give me a drink, quick. Real fine whiskey. Now, how are you? I need a wash. You got a bath? You know, I keep a book around in case someone finishes up too early and leaves. Hey, I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. Gavin! Uh, where the hell are you? A 
I'm gonna stand. Hey, mister. How are you, mister? Ma'am? Ain't. I think I'm okay. Thanks. No worries. Just doing my job. Yep. Well, been a while since you were last here. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Now, let me have a look. And that should be good. Here. Done. That's it for now. So long. in a good breed? Got you some other time.
girl. Hello, Arthur. My lady. Hello, Arthur. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. Well, we all need a break. All right then, Arthur. Pretty good. There he is. Good. Evening. You been out of trouble there? Of course I am. Evening, Arthur. 